below. Notice where we are. I've got the um, the soldering. Kept the original brushes and made a plate up. Just basic. If I have to cover it in epoxy or something, it's fine. The the end of the um, the back of the rectifier is quite fragile, so may have a certain amount of difficulty. It's all aluminium. Um, well, I can't solder onto it, but you can bear some copper. There is some copper wire there right at the end. You just got to be really careful digging it out. Uh, yes, please don't laugh at my soldering. I've got uh, I've got one of them for me solder. So. Right, I want to thank Max. That's such a simple, brilliant video, easy to follow. I love it. So um, hopefully we can put me five volts and two amps in here and power the cell off of the original. That's what I'm thinking without touching any of these. Or is there anything there I need to do? Um, I don't think so, but... Um, if there is, please let us know. In which case, I can. Uh... Yeah, yeah well, that was a fault. Um... Oh, sorry. Where is it? I've got the power supply. I know it isn't a variac and what have you, but it's. Thirty-six amp. That's a bit too much. That's going to melt them wires, I would imagine. Um, there's a five volt two amp. Maybe. Maybe that one. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, they're going to be. They'll melt the. That will melt the, um, the the cables, so the wires in there. Oh, if I've heard you correctly, okay. Right, thank you very much. Look forward to see what's coming.